Hi everyone, today I'm going to be telling you about the Sora app. We're dead excited about this. The Sora app is an online reading platform. So basically it's an online library where you can access thousands of titles from loads of different genres. You'll have the Sora app on your iPad already. You just need to look for this icon here. You can also log on to Sora on your desktop if you go on to soraapp.com. Once you're on the app, you'll need to log into our school account. If you can't see our school on the home page, you just need to click this bit here where it says switch schools now. Again, if you can't see it on this home page, you need to click my school isn't listed and search for our school. Once you've found it, it should come down with a drop down menu like this, where you just need to select our school again. And from there, you should be able to sign in. So after you have signed in, it should come up with a home page that looks a little bit like this. There we go. Um, and the home page is under the Explore tab, these little binoculars here. As you can see, there are so many titles and it's split into sections so that you can find the book that you're looking for more easily. And you can browse the sections until you find a book that you're interested in. So once you've found a book that you want to read, you should click on it and it should come up like this. You'll see a synopsis of the plot. You'll see who the author is. You'll be able to read a sample of the book and see the recommended audience so that you know if this is a book that you'd like to read. Sometimes the book might already be out on loan. If it is, you just need to press the place hold button and this will put you in the list um, ready to take it out. You'll be able to see how long you have to wait to take out the book. Underneath it should tell you, so this one, I have to wait four weeks if I want to take this book out. You can also add books to your wish list. So if you press add to list like that. Um, so if there's a few you want to take out and you want to put them together, you can add to wish list or um, you can create a list based on a subject or a topic that you're looking for in school, looking at in school. If you can't find a title and you're absolutely desperate to read it, ask Dawny and see if she can buy it in for you. So any books that you take out will be here on your shelf. As you can see, I've got a couple of books already. The drop down here shows you the different categories. So assignments are books that are um, set by your teachers. Audio books are books that you can listen to and ebooks are the ones that you can read. As you can see, it shows you how much of the book you have read. Um, and if I click on this book here, if I open it, it will open to the last page that I have read because I've set a bookmark. And you set a bookmark by pressing the right hand side of the page. And that'll set your bookmark to save your place. Something else that's really cool is that I can highlight and define different words. So, for example, if I wanted to pick this word here, collision, all I do is press and sort of swipe left or right, and it'll come up with these options so I can highlight it as a word that stands out to me. I can click and drag it and I can define it. So, if it's a word I'm not sure of, I'll be able to understand the text more easily because I can find out what that word means. Another thing that you can do to make reading a little bit easier is press this button here. Now this means that you can customise the page for you. So for example, I can make the text bigger. So if I struggle with small writing, I can make the text bigger to read and I can even do things like go into dark mode if that makes it easier for me to read the text. Finally, the last thing I was going to show you, so I'll just close this up. There we go, I've gained an achievement and this is what I was going to show you. So, if I click on me, it comes up with my profile. So I can see how many books I've read, how long I've spent reading, um, my reading streak, so how many days in a row I've been reading, and I can gain achievements. So the more books that you read um, and the more titles that you access, the more achievements you'll gain. So another exciting thing that's going to be going on in school is our reading week. Reading week starts on the 29th of March and that's when we'll be launching our reading passports. So this is a way 
for you to read books that are based around the subjects that you learn in school. So every subject has curated a list of titles. So this might be titles that directly link to the subject or it might be ones that are just interesting that maybe teachers think that you might want to read. All you need to do is read one of your subjects recommended reads, write a review of the book and you will gain a stamp on your reading passport which looks like this. When your reading passport is full of stamps you'll be put into a prize draw at the end of the year. So if you want to get a start on your reading passport, have a look at the recommended reads um, that your subjects have put forward and start checking these books out on Sora.